to the members of our connoisseurs group. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you here. We're at uh, Jaeger Kulta of Vancouver and we're here with Charlie. Uh, Charlie is a veteran of the uh, boutique industry here in Vancouver. He is, uh, he goes back to uh, Brinkhouse. The days with Brinkhouse in Hotel Vancouver. Yes, yes. yeah, and uh, David Oskerson is a member of our group, so he'll be very familiar with, uh, with you and Brinkhouse. There you go. And uh, so a special hello to David Oskerson. And uh, we're here uh, to talk about the Jaeger Kulta Reverso. Uh, and I'm going to be taking this particular Jaeger Kulta Reverso home with me. That's, uh, this is going to be my personal watch, but I want to take you along uh, for the journey. So, uh, Charlie, maybe you can tell us a little about the, the history and the heritage of the Reverso. It has one of the most interesting um, his, uh, stories out of most watches in the luxury watch industry. The interesting thing about the Reverso is, well, it was technically the first sport watch. Back in 1931, we had British officers in India playing polo, because polo was invented in India. And they were breaking their glass crystal while playing polo. So they came to us because we were the main watch house. We were the, actually the first movement maker in the world. Uh, we, Le Coutre was the one that brought all the craftsmen under one roof and started manufacturing movements for all the top brands. Um, actually, they're older than pretty well most of the brands because uh, the family house is, was there in the late 1700s, still the same piece of land, and uh, Le Coutre started making all these watches, movements, and then you started getting Patek, Vacheron, AP, and they've supplied pretty well most of the, the movements for them. The Reverso started in 1931 and it was uh i always said well why didn't the polo players just take off the watch so they didn't break the glass well in a polo match i found out later on that you have to time how long you're on the horse so you can switch horses because they switch horses a few times through a polo match so therefore you need a watch while you're playing that's when the reversal came out actually the first eight reversals ever produced had Patek Philippe written on him. After the eight, that's when Zizha Le Coutre started started marketing their own watch with their name on it. Oh, very interesting. Yeah, so yeah. that's, that's and the reversal, most watch collectors that I know of usually have one reversal in their collection because they're so iconic. Case alone, 55 parts movement we just don't slap a round movement in a rectangular case it's a rectangular movement to for, to shape to to the shape of the case so technically it's a very complicated piece and still priced very well for for how complicated it is. Yes, yeah. And you touched on the fact that Jaeger Kulta was a movement maker first. Yes. And so all of the, the gearing, all of the components inside the movement are actually made in-house and fabricated in-house. Yes. Uh, even the, the gears and the, the gears, wheels the are, screws, are machined in-house. Everything in-house. Yeah. That's the nice thing. I always tell my clients, you know, the word in-house is not in any of our literature because everybody knows what we do is in-house. So we don't have to put it in our literature. Exactly. You'll see other brands will have in their catalogs, they'll say in-house movement. Well, you never see that in ours because exactly. everything's in-house. Uh, you also uh, mentioned, of course, the, the, the polo heritage and the strap, uh, the new strap is actually a, a polo inspired strap. Can you tell us about yes, that? Yes, well, that's a, a design made by the famous polo bootmaker in Argentina called Casa Fagliano. He produces boots for all the royalties and polo players and their boots go for 30,000 and he's got he's got the molds for King Charles and all the people that play 
polo, which is a very expensive game. So he, I had one of my clients, I sold actually a reversal to in Montreal. And he just sent me some pictures because he visited uh, Argentina oh, yes. and he went to the factory because he ordered some Casa Fagliano straps from Montreal. And so while he was in Argentina, he went to visit the factory and he met the father, the son, German is his son. And um, saw, and I saw, he sent me some pictures of the factory and him with the pic, you know, with uh, pictures with him there. Oh, and sure. it was, it's a, still a small family uh, business that's been there for since the uh, b- beginning of the 1900s, I believe. Oh, wow. Very yeah. Nice. So it's, uh, yeah, very interesting. Well, some of the members in our group know that I lived in Argentina for about eight years. My shoes are actually uh, from Argentina. It's a brand called uh, Siege Argentino, which is named after one of the famous breeds of horses ah. uh, that they use for polo because polo is huge yeah. in Argentina. Yeah. yeah. He yeah. uses. The straps that are, come with the watch are designed by Casa Fagliano, but are made in France. All right. You can also order, if you say, wanted to order a genuine Casa Fagliano strap, you can order straight from Casa Fagliano online, and their straps are made, you can request to be made in Cordovan, which right. is horse hide. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, and I've seen them very supple. They also they come on some of our limited edition reversals that we get, and uh, beautiful, beautiful workmanship. Yeah, wow. yeah. Well, thank you very much. My I pleasure. This. Anytime. Congratulations on uh, your purchase of a wonderful timepiece. Thank you very much. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining us, and also we. Uh, uh, we have our group, uh, our exclusive group uh, on Facebook called Connoisseurs. If you're not already a member, I invite you uh, to, uh, to look us up, to join the group. Uh, it will give you exclusive access to our community of collectors and creators like David Oscarson and Nino Marino of the Delta Pen Company. I will also give you exclusive access to uh, behind the scenes information from the Circle Magazine and of course uh, our VIP events. So, thank you very much for coming along uh, for this uh, journey, and uh, I hope to meet you in the Connoisseurs group on Facebook.